Okay, why does the gas furnace short cycle? Well, there's a number of reasons, but let's try the easiest ones first, and it'll be a flame issue. Now, underneath here is the burners of this. This is a 90 percenter. Your furnace may have burners that are visible without a cover, uh, and that will make it a little easier to see. However, the same thing happens. If for some reason the uh, circuit board, uh, we call it a circuit board, we call it an integrated furnace control, we call it a brain board, control board, something. All furnaces in the last 20 years have had this thing in it. If it doesn't like the flame, it's going to shut it off. That means it's, if you have a short cycle, it runs maybe four to seven seconds and shuts off. Burner comes on, then shuts off. Burner comes on, then shuts off. Uh, or maybe it comes on and stays on for a while, then shuts off and goes through this cycle uh, occasionally. That could be flame rod. Now the flame rod on this uh, appliance here is actually right here. It's right past there. Uh, take this screw off and it comes out. All it is is a stainless steel rod that sits in the flame. Hot surface igniters over here. This warms up. You should see a yellow glow. Then you see the blue flame come across and then it shuts off again. These things can do this intermittently. They can do it every time. If they do it every time, they'll usually try three times and they shut down, wait for an hour, and then they try again. So if this is the kind of short cycle you have, it's probably not sensing flame. Now I'm going to fire this thing up and uh, we'll see how it acts. Okay, we're going to fire this thing up and under normal conditions you can see the hot surface igniter come on on the right there and pretty soon the burner is going to come on and it'll stay on you can see that blue flame in there where we get abnormal is if for some reason we lose that flame signal it's going to shut off and it's going to try again you can see that hot surface igniter come on. Okay, there's your flame. Okay, flame went out because there's no flame sense. Now this hot surface igniter will come on again and it'll go through that same cycle. I'll let it run through one more cycle and you can see how it, uh, how it works. Okay, here comes that hot surface igniter again. goes burners are on okay if that's your uh, your symptoms good chance you've got a dirty flame rod pull the flame rod out clean it up with steel wool sandpaper don't get real aggressive on it uh, I really don't care what you clean it with uh, I would not uh, sand it down too much there is a coating on those stainless steel rods and you may go through the coating and then they won't sense well after that but uh, just clean it up reasonably well put it back in it should start working just normal if not you got a different problem okay things other than flame failure problems that could cause short cycling uh, pressure switches uh, maybe this tubing here is looped down and got water in it, or actually the pressure switch itself has got water in it. That'll cause it. That's usually a low ambient t condition, like it's very cold in the house. That might happen then. Uh, venting on these plastic vented furnaces, these 90s, if it doesn't pitch towards the furnace, 
uh, then sometimes you'll get intermittent shutdowns there. So look for that, listen on the pipe, put a screwdriver up to the pipe, uh, because if your uh, if your integrated furnace control right down there uh, says there's a pressure switch problem, then you got to start looking at at you know things like venting. Is the outlet plugged? Is the inlet plugged? Is there snow in it? Is there a screen in it and the screen's either dirty or got ice on it? All these things can cause short cycling on these machines. Uh, don't always just blame that little old pressure switch because it is just a signal. It's a little signalman telling the uh, control that there's something wrong in the furnace. Uh, inducer may not be coming up to speed. Uh, I'd make sure I knew that was the problem before I took that thing off. That little bugger is expensive and it comes as one piece. Uh, very seldom can you take one and replace a motor in it. Uh, I would not think that was it until I did a lot of research. If you hear a noise, a water noise in the bottom of this, this would be for a 90% furnace like this one. Then you probably have a drain like this here and that drain may be plugged. Could be plugged right there where I got the pan. More commonly it's going to be plugged right there that little white thing is that's a trap and it goes out here and goes down a drain that thing can get plugged over the years and it will cause intermittent failures one of the other things that can cause intermittent failure will be a plugged filter probably the first thing you should check when you get down there the furnace will oftentimes only run two or three minutes uh, if it's got a plug filter and it is cycling on and off on the limit switch You've got fairly high temperatures coming out of your ducts, higher than normal. That could possibly be a problem. Something external to the furnace, if you have an electric thermostat, not electronic, but electric. The electric thermostats had an anticipator that is for setting the cycles. And I'll do a little video on these things after a bit. I haven't got around to it yet. but. Uh, that setting can be, if it's turning on and off at the thermostat too fast, the way you can find that out is if you turn the thermostat all the way up, as high as it'll go, does it still do it? If it stops doing it when you turn the thermostat all the way up, your anticipation is probably your problem. So you would change the anticipator and usually it has something that says longer cycles and point it towards longer cycles. Move it about a quarter inch see if that solves it. If it doesn't, move it another quarter inch. And that's about it for uh, short cycling on gas furnaces. Uh, simple things that you can check. Um, some of them will involve some expensive repairs. Uh, well, I forgot one thing. Up here in your burners, uh, the heat exchanger behind there, if the heat exchanger starts uh, gets a crack in it, occasionally it'll short cycle then. Uh, that's pretty much bad news. When you look at the flame, you should be able to see it. I don't want to say everyone can see it. That's a little tough to tell, but if the flame is not going into the hole where it should be, these are all in-shot burners, virtually everything now is in-shot burners. Uh, the flame should be going straight into there and straight into the heat exchanger. If it's not, if it's rolling up to this top here or something like that, uh, you could very well have a heat exchanger problem. It usually gets worse when the uh, fan motor starts. But that could cause a, uh, a short cycle. And that's pretty bad news. You. Uh, you get that fixed. I got a little more complete information on grayfurnaceman.com. I've got a list of error codes for most furnaces. Uh, the, uh, they'll have a little blinking light down there on that control. Okay, furnaces like this do have a little window 
down there below and I'll kind of give you an idea of where that is right there uh, and if you look inside there it's going to tell you that uh, whatever code it is blinking if the furnace is shut down it kind of tells you where to go. It doesn't tell you exactly what's wrong but it tells you where to look. Uh, do not take the cover off the furnace here. So take this off because if you take the silly thing off you'll lose the coats. So keep that cover on, look at it, then you can take it off. Uh, you don't have to take that off to check the uh, burners and so on. That's just the fan and the controls are down there. And that's it on uh, short cycles, about all I can think of anyway.